Hello there, welcome to Style with Bloom. My name is Ruthie and today we're going to be sharing or I'm going to be sharing with you how I made this brooch sleeve using tool and this sleeve is Vicky James inspired. I, I saw it on her first and I absolutely absolutely love this sleeve because it allows me to work with tool without it looking too transparent or too light. So for me, I'm here to add embellishments, but if you are ready for your embellishments, you go ahead and you just add them into your sleeve. So if you're yet to subscribe to this channel, kindly click on the subscribe button, turn on your notification bell so that you get to see when I post videos like this on trending styles like this. Okay guys, welcome back. So in this, in this we're going to be doing our basic sleeve, your basic long sleeve. And in this um, video, I have made two because I'm making two sleeves. But I'm going to be using one for our illustration. So please make sure you have two because we're going to be cutting out this paper from the two. So you will not have that pattern again. So make sure you have two patterns so you don't have to go to your main pattern to trace out another one again. I believe you have a main pattern stored up in your archives that you use to recreate this this must not be your main basic sleeve pattern please so i'm going to go ahead i have gone ahead to differentiate my front arm hole and my back arm hole and you know that the front arm hole is always different right then i have gone ahead to draw out my center front line which is my fold line my center sleeve line so you can see um that so for this i'm going to be measuring out the widest part of my sleeve which is um which is 16 including allowances and then maybe i can add like one inch on each side so that you don't have um so that you don't have issues when you're attaching your sleeve I mean, you must make sure that this part is consistent to the armhole of whatever you are working with so that you don't have shortages so guys my sleeve is 16 for me i'm going to be adding two inches to each side that that's 16 plus two plus two because this now what we're seeing here is round right this is round so this is eight and this is eight so we're going to be having 16 plus 4, which is 20. So 20 is the width of my two that I will cut off. Do you understand what I mean? Then the length of my um, sleeve is my normal sleeve length. I'm going to be adding a peplum at the end, as you've seen in the introduction video. And so we'll just go ahead and start. Yes, overall, you can, you can have like two yards of tool, but... You will not use it up except you're adding a peplum so just measure the widest part of your sleeve and then that determines how much tool you need for each side make sure you add your allowance so that you don't end up with shortage so guys i'm going to go ahead now and cut out 20 inches by the full length of two which is 60. now that is um the length my length is 22 if your length is longer than 22 make sure that what you have is about two and a half at least so that when you gather it is really full so i've given you the dimensions for the length and the width of this sleeve and i'm going to be going ahead to cut Note, guys, that if you want to um, make it thicker or fuller, you can choose to double this process, like repeat the process on two sleeves that have the same, like two right sleeves. Do you understand what I'm saying? You can choose to repeat the process, and like now I have the two doubled, so you can choose to repeat the process, and then it's going to be more cloudy than just a single one. That's a tip, though. So guys, I'm going to have to cut out what we have. I'm going to place it on the, on the sleeve. Make sure that when you're placing it, 
you leave some allowance up as much as as little as you can at least one to two inches and then make sure that what you have on the side is equal i hope that you can see this properly what you have on the side is equal and then you can see this is the full length but i have let it go down to the end of the table so you go ahead and you place your pin you pin like you don't have anything moving when you're going to sew and so i'm going to be taking this to the sewing machine i'm going to show you how i did this and you're going to sew make sure that your sides are equal please you're going to sew on this line and you're going to gather while you sew so guys let's go and get this so guys you go ahead and you just Excuse me. You go ahead and you just pleat your sleeves into you pleat your tool into the sleeve pattern. I know you've seen this a lot. This appears to be the easiest approach for me, and I would like to give you the easiest approach. David like it okay so guys after sewing the other side in middle first of all you go ahead and just follow whatever your pleats are making sure that you have space in front of your sleeve for or above your sleeve rather for trimming and for allowance <laughs> which is very important so we go ahead and we to secure our place so guys you also go ahead after pleating the middle just like i did here go ahead and just sew on the sides of the of the pattern paper following the pleats that you already created in the middle do this on the both sides and then make sure you lock your stitch at the end before you cut your thread Then guys you go ahead and you sew round your armhole round your armhole this is why you need your armhole to be already cut to what exactly you want it to be before you sew this sleeve so that you don't end up having issues so guys you understand that this is where we started pleating for man so we still have extra pleats here so be sure to make sure that there's a way that you put that in while sewing your armhole you can use pins to just secure so that you don't end up losing that part of your sleeve this is very important so you use pins to secure and then you just sew i hope that you can see this so you can see what i did and I'm just going to go ahead and sew so you don't lose this part of your kit or that part doesn't end up looking somehow so ladies you can see that this is ready um, when I'm trimming I'm still going to leave out an extra 0.5 inches because I did not leave that on my sleeve pattern. So if you're doing this for yourself on your sleeve pattern, when you leave allowances for the side, make sure you leave for the center as well so that you don't for the cap of your sleeve as well so that you don't end up um having shortages in the length of your sleeve. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just cut this out with my half inch seam allowance. 
which is very important. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and tear this out. Just tear out your pattern paper. Now this is why I said you should have two pattern papers for each sleeve because you will not be able to achieve this point without losing a sleeve or without having to do that on your pattern paper so you just tear out gently so guys now you have your sleeve funny as this looks to me this is our roach sleeve I love 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 this sleeve. I love the fact that it gives you something um from net that is not too light because one single layer of net can be really light. So I have my sleeve. Make sure that you knot your middle and you know which part is your um <laughs> so you can see So guys, there we have our sleeve. Thank you for watching. You can go ahead and add your embellishments. Well, I almost say iron it. Please avoid iron it. <laughs> avoid it. <laughs> so, ladies, this is how this sleeve came out. I absolutely loved it. I added the peplum to mine, and I loved it. If you have any other tutorials that you think I should create, kindly let me know in the comment section. I'll be waiting so that we can just create the best for you. So ladies, I'll give us a few tips on the sewing of this sleeve because for some reason I couldn't film the sewing video. I did not plan it and at the point I was already sewing, I just realized that there are a few other things I would have loved to tell you, especially so that you don't make mistakes and you don't have issues. So specifically, when you are joining the armhole, remember that we had to use pins to... um before we were able to secure those pleats at the armhole area so that point has the tendency to really want to just stretch past the normal length of your armhole so you need to still use pins to hold it attach it to your armhole and then sew this way you will not have issues while joining and you will not have yourself sewing out of where the pleat isn't or you won't have the pleat expanding and making your armhole bigger and then you now have an excess at the edge or all those issues will not really come out the moment you are able to ensure that you pin 
second when you are going to iron please be really really careful because the way tool burns is not the way normal fabric burns there's no sign you just see a hole on your tool so please make sure that you um you you place another fabric on top of your tool before you iron it by all means or else don't iron but ironing is really necessary for your finishing to come out neat like in this one so make sure you iron out i've said use hemming gum but i didn't do that myself but that was an idea that really came to my mind so if you can use hemming gum so that your sleeve comes together at the end but again since it's net the hemming gum can always end up coming out on whatever you placed on top and then you have everything glued up together so that way i avoided hemming gum personally but you might want to try that out that's an idea that crossed my mind and i think that it might work it might just work so those are the few tips i have for us while sewing your tool i hope that this comes out very well for you and i hope you love it just as much as i do thank you so much for watching this video once again if you're yet to subscribe to this channel kindly click on the subscribe button turn on your notification bell so that you can see when we bring up trending tutorials like this especially in this year thank you so much for watching bye for now Thank <laughs> you.